Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today we're going to do kind of a fun video. Um, so first of all, our encouraging word for today is let the adventure begin. And this is very fitting for this video because my aunt and uncle um, traveled to Florida here a few weeks ago. And they brought back a huge bunch of beads for me. Um, beads and findings and just really cool stuff. So there was some really um, interesting vintage stuff in there, um, some gemstone stuff, and I just wanted to show you guys what they brought back. So I was so excited. Uh, we sat down in the floor at my mom and dad's house and we just all, we looked through it all. And um, since then I have come home and sorted some things. So it's kind of in categories at least, but um, I wanted to say thank you to them. That was my aunt Donna and my uncle Tim, and they just gifted this to me. So um, I'm going to open it here on video or show you guys on video. Um, a lot of the things that were in this collection. So I've separated things out here. So first of all, we'll go through this little container. This was a lot of metals um, and other stuff like that. So first she had Fireline in here, um, which I use a ton of, and Supple Max, which again, I use a ton of. So these are always, always, always really good to get. I was so glad to get those. And then there was this little teeny bottle, which I thought was really cute. Um, really cute for like a pendant or something. So there that is. I thought that was really cool. Little tiny little bottle. Um, and then there were these pendant pieces. So let me open these up. Or I guess they're pendant pieces and metals, but... So there was this leaf in here, and it has a um, spot here for uh, to be a pendant if you wanted it to be. But it's kind of almost patinaed, but really, really cool looking. So there was that one. And then there were these rings, which were rhinestone on the edges, which I thought was really cool too. See those? There were these little um, connectors, so they have holes in them. You can string them, or just string a bead in there if you wanted, or string them on a bracelet, double strand. Uh, there were these little rings, which I thought were cool. Some cup chain in a really pretty, it's like an amethyst color. Okay. Uh, there was this leaf. It's like an enamel pendant leaf. This thing I thought was really cool. So let me find the top of it. <laughs> It was, there we go. So it's just a, a pendant piece, but I think this is a gemstone. It looks like it, and it's wire wrapped, but really cute, unique. Uh, then there was this pendant piece, and these little connectors or jump rings, they're like double rings together. So I thought they were really cool too. There were some of those. So those are some of the metals that were in here. Uh, this scoop was in here, which is always good to have, too. And then there were these bales, which were really cool. So these are just like a filigree, uh, nice bale for stringing cord through here or something and then hanging something from it. Okay, um, some chandelier components or reducers these bags are so hard to open they're not like the normal they're thicker than the normal little baggies um, so these are they can be a three strand reducer so three um, down to one if you're making a bracelet or they could be a chandelier component so there's lots of different things you can do with these And then we had an assortment of metal beads, so these were really cool, I thought, just different looking. I'm going to not take them all out because it would take all day for me to do that. I mean, there was so much stuff. Um, these are clasps, a whole bunch of these little screw clasps. Um, these are some rondelle spacers, rhinestone rondelles. There were some bead caps in here and like this really cool matte gunmetal maybe or kind of cool finish. This is another bead cap. Now, these are pretty interesting. I will show you these. So, I've never seen bead caps quite like that before. I thought they were really cool, and there's a bunch of them in here, too. They're kind of deep, like a, I don't know, they would, like, be really good on a bicone, probably. 
Okay, let me tip this down just a little so it's a little easier to stay in frame. There were some ear hooks. Now these are um, kidney ear wires. Nice to have. Some chain, a really pretty color of gold, like a light casey gold. And then these spacers. There was a whole bunch of these spacers in there. So the three strand spacers for bracelets. And then um, fire polish. So there was a lot of fire polish. So these are some black fire polish beads. These were really pretty, I thought. And I think there's a couple different kinds in here. I need to go through and sort this package itself, but I didn't do that yet. This was a pretty color, too. And again, I don't know what any of the colors are because they weren't really marked that way, but they're definitely beautiful. All of them are. There's an amethyst, like, with an AB coating on it. There were some big ones in here, too. Look at these. These are beautiful. I don't know what color these are. They look like a, I don't know, I'll have to look, but wow, they're pretty. So sparkly. So there were those. These I thought were really cool too, like a, I don't know, um, Picasso or something. Really cool. They almost look like snake skin. Uh, there were a couple of these big blue ones. So I just went through and separated out, tried to put things in categories. So all the fire polish in here. Look at these big ones. Really unique. Um, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of these that we're going to get into here in a minute are vintage. So these I thought were really pretty. So yeah, I had so much fun sorting through all this. That's my thing. I love to sort. So that's a bunch of fire polish that was in there. And then there was a lot of um there was a lot of acrylic in here, but it's really beautiful acrylic. So that and I think some of these are probably vintage. That's um what I'm thinking. So these are really pretty. They don't look acrylic in person. That's the thing. And some of them I questioned. I was kind of like knocking them on the table trying to see if they were glass or not because they looked like they could be. These looked like they could be gemstone. They're acrylic. Huh. Really cool. But I have a feeling that some of these, like these probably are vintage. I've not seen anything like them before. Um, all these were really pretty. So look at the, let me see if I can open them. These were hard to get back in this bag, but I can open them. These were really cool, I thought. Look at the deep, like, see that in there? So cool. And they're acrylic, but oh my gosh, I think they're so pretty. They would be so cute to make pumpkins out of. Little pumpkin earrings out of these would be adorable with the bicone on top and little wire. Oh, that would be really cute. I may have to do that. <laughs> okay, so there's those. Um, but yeah, those I have a feeling are vintage. I think these probably are as well. Really pretty. Just unique things. I was having so much fun. And then they had, these I thought were really cool too. These look like candy. <laughs> They're flat acrylic discs. <laughs> look at them. Don't they look like candy? <laughs> I think they really cool and here they are in a flatter version and then there are actually some more of these yeah here's some more of them in a smaller but i can't remember what kind of candy it is but it was a gummy kind of round candy like this that i think i'm remembering from when i was little <laughs> they remind me of <gasps> um let's see what else is in here so there were those um these were pretty i thought these are acrylic as well very gemstone, faux gemstone looking. <laughs> uh, then these were cool, and I have a feeling these are vintage, because again, I've never seen anything like them, but they're just flat, like, I don't know what they look like. Candy too, maybe, or orange slices, or something like that, but they were very interesting. Um, let's see what else is in here. I can't show everything it would take forever, but I wanted to show you guys like the more 
interesting things. There were some really pretty focals. I love this. I will probably make a necklace um, and use this as a focal on it. That was really pretty. Let's see what else we've got in here. There were a whole bunch of focals. So here's one. Um, that was like a barrel bead kind of. Whoops. I just dropped one. But it looks like a faux gemstone as well. It looks like jade. <laughs> really cool. Um, these were cute. These are little cubes. And again, I think these are acrylic. They almost sound like they could be glass. I don't think they are though. But pretty sure they're probably vintage. They look like it. So, really, really cool acrylic stuff in here. Um, and I know some people won't use acrylic, but I do. I don't have any trouble using it if I think it's pretty. Um, I don't have a problem with it at all. So, there's that. And then there were tons of um, pearl and gemstone. Now, this is some interesting stuff here. So, you guys are going to have to help me. I don't know what these are. These look like a nut or a... <laughs> A seed of some sort look at that there it is a seed isn't it it's a um I'm not sure is it a walnut seed what are these <laughs> anyway I found them quite interesting and I love the color they're a really deep maroon maybe they're walnuts I think they might be walnuts and then there were a lot of pearls in here so in different colors Really pretty navy color. Um, look at these. These are unique. I've not seen any like this before. These pearls. Aren't those cool? They're heavy too. There were those. And these little square freshwater pearls. There were a lot of regular pearls. Um, these are freshwater pearls already uh, made into little connectors, like a chain. I'll show you my favorite ones. These. Oh, aren't these beautiful? So these are freshwater pearls, and I love the color of these. They're so pretty deep maroon oh love it i've really i've been wanting to make a necklace and earrings out of these color this maroon color because i have a lot of shirt color or i seem to buy that color in clothes but i don't have anything to wear with them so um here we have some pearl pieces and i think this is hematite in there as well here's some more pearls some more pearls a couple of that's a freshwater pearl piece <laughs> it's interesting it's drilled right through there. Whoops. The camera is not it's wanting to focus on all this in the background. Here are some stick pearls, freshwater pearls. And I think that's about it for the pearls. And then we have these, and I'm not sure what these are. You guys help me out if you know. Are they bone? They look like almost like little pieces of like bone or vertebrae. Look at that one. See how it's kind of yeah, there we go. What are these? I think they're bone. But you guys tell me if you know. They are very interesting. Very interesting. Maybe they're pieces of shell. I couldn't really tell, but I thought they were really cool. And then these big, I don't know what these are either. If you know any of these stones as I'm showing them, please put them in the comments below because I know a lot of stones and gemstones, but... I don't know what these are. <laughs> they're very, they're very heavy, um, but really cool. And again, they look vintage to me, but I don't know what they are. So if you know, please, please put it in the comments below because I have no clue on that one or this one. Uh, these are similar to those. Well, this one is the same as those. So I don't know what these are, but they're very, look at that one. That almost looks like chrysanthemum jasper to me. See the little flower patterns in there? But I'm not positive, and it's the only one like that. The rest of them are something different. So please, please, if you know, please tell me. 
Um, let's see here what else we've got. There were um, a package of, now these I think are carnelian. The, the white ones here I wasn't sure about. They're really pretty though. But I think, maybe this isn't carnelian. Some of it is, I think. <laughs> I don't know. But look how pretty these are. Are these like a banded agate maybe? That's what they look like to me. A white banded agate, but oh, so pretty. And look at this yellow, the yellow and white together. I know it's not mookite, but I wasn't sure on that one. I, I was thinking carnelian, but I've never seen, I mean, this is agate, I think. So maybe it's all agate. I don't know. If you know, please, please pipe in. Um, this one as well, it looked like um, rhodonite maybe, but not positive on that. But look at this. These are faceted. So, I don't know if you can see the teeny tiny little well, facets on there. It, they're so cool. They're kind of like a barrel shape. Look how pretty this one is. They're just beautiful little beads, but I'm not sure what these are either. Maybe they're a jasper, but I was thinking like rhodonite or rhodochrosite. I don't know. Please tell me if you know. Please leave your comments. I really, really do want to know what they are. And if you leave a comment and I I can label these and then I will know. <laughs> I will have them in my stash labeled. This looks like opalite and these are so cool. Look at these beads. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty. They're like butterflies almost or little wing beads. They would make adorable. So look here. Let me grab. They would make a really pretty little angel earring. So I'm going to use an eye pin, which I normally wouldn't use for this. I would use a head pin, but look at this. So you would take a pearl drop like this or any kind of drop. It doesn't have to be a pearl. These could be the little wings. Oh, um, let's see what I have up here that might, <laughs> might make a head for her. It may not match, but you get the general idea. Oh, here's, here's a, here's a bead. So then we would have a head. This head's too big. Way too big of a head. She needs a smaller head. But <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, you get the idea. A six millimeter bead would make the perfect little head for her. Here's something. Let's try these. Just so you can see what I'm talking about. That one's too small, but eh, there you go. Little head. Little, um, a smaller one, obviously. A smaller little, um rhinestone rondelle as a halo but look what cute little wings those would be <laughs> yeah and i'm pretty sure that's opalite um let me get this stuff back where it belongs or i'll never remember what i was doing i have little project trays sitting everywhere okay so um yeah i think it's opalite really cool looking though again possibly vintage looks like it to me those are really cool um, we've got some rose quartz here. I love rose quartz. And this is like a tree agate or moss agate, maybe. But these are pendant pieces. Really cool um, pendant pieces. That looks like moss agate. So we've got that and this. So here's another one that, you know, banded agate here, possibly. Looks like it to me, but look what a cool bead. Look at that and then this looks like um I thought tiger eye at first but I don't think it is I think it's a banded agate as well uh, then we've got some quartz of some sort here looks like and these I don't know what are these are these possibly chrysanthemum jasper they kind of look like I don't know they've got these little blooming little blooming people parts in them <laughs> I don't know this possibly amethyst I'm thinking and this I have no idea but look what a cool bead that is so I have no idea what it's made of and same with this maybe a quartz on this one smoky quartz maybe but yeah I mean if you guys know please tell me because I have a book that identifies them and stuff but sometimes even that makes it difficult uh, zebra jasper I believe is this one really pretty look at those and then this i'm stumped on as well um i have no idea it almost looks like a petrified wood look at this Let's see if i can get it there see that so cool 
but I have no idea what it is. I think it's petrified wood. Whoops. Oh, and I'm dropping things everywhere. I dropped one a minute ago. Everything I pick up, I drop lately. I don't know what my problem is. There's the bead I dropped a minute ago. It's an acrylic bead, but it's very faux gemstone. <laughs> really cool. Where did my acrylics go? There they are. So there's those. I don't know what they are. Um, this is really cool. Look at this carved bead. Isn't that beautiful? Um, again, not sure what it is. It looks kind of like Imperial Jasper. It's so pretty though. It's got that pattern carved on it. Here's a leaf carved out of Unikite, I believe. Hmm. Um, some teeny tiny tiger eye beads. Those are cute. Let's see here. We've got this, and I don't know what this is either. So, again, please, if you know, let me hold it up here so y'all can see it. It's very pretty. Um, like, it's got, um, how do I say it? They're not like, okay, here's a good example. Let me put those down so, whoops, so I don't drop them all. Here's a good one. Let me find that side of it again. Okay, so see this? How it's kind of like indented in there? All these are that way. So if anybody knows what they are, please, please, please let me know. They're very pretty. Very cool. And there's these little rondelle pieces too. But again, I'm not sure what this one is. I'm trying to label everything now. I didn't used to do that, but I'm really trying to now. I believe this is Labradorite. It does have a flash in it, though it is really hard to see on camera. But kind of like right in there, maybe in here. There is some flash to it. I'm pretty sure it's Labradorite. There it is down there at the bottom. Um, it's very pretty. And there were lots of those, just cool little pendants. Oh, look at these. These I wanted to show you guys. These are chevron beads, but oh, look at these. Aren't these awesome? <laughs> so here's a triangle. It's not a chevron bead, but I'm thinking um, hematite, onyx, perhaps. Um, it looks like jade to me. Not sure about that. Maybe unikite, or maybe this is jade. This one could be jade, I don't know. Carnelian. Uh, snowflake Jasper, I think. Is that Snowflake Jasper? Looks like it. Uh, picture Jasper and maybe Mahogany Obsidian. Not sure, but what cool beads these are. I'm not sure why one is a total triangle and the rest are chevron, unless maybe... I don't know if they were some sort of, I don't know, but they're very, very cool. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Love those. Such unique things. I'm telling you that we're in this, this whole big tub. These I thought were really cool too. I don't know what they are either. They look like maybe, um, moss agate? I don't think so. But look how they are. Look how they're shaped. They're just these little drops. They're drilled briolette style. If you know what they are, please tell me. They look like a jasper to me, but I'm not positive. I don't know what jasper they would be, but they're very cool. Okay, so there's those. And then there's these. And these, again, no clue. Um, they almost look carved. Can you see that one? But I don't think they really are carved. I think that's just how they're made, what they are. But very cool, and I have no idea what they are. So again, if you know, see, look at that one right there. See it? How oh, it's like very, very cool beads. I'll put them back in there before I drop them all. Uh, these were beautiful as well. I'm not sure what these are. Ammonizite, maybe? I don't know, but they're carved roses. Uh, so if you know what this is, please tell me. It's not just glass. I can tell it is a gemstone, but I don't know what gemstone it is. It's beautiful. It's beautiful light turquoise color. Here's another one. Oh my goodness. These I thought were so pretty. Look at these. What are they, guys? Are they ammonizite? 
They look kind of like amnesite to me. These do. They're a pretty bluish color, but some of them have this brown on them. They are gorgeous. Wow, love them. So I'm coming to you all for help because I don't know what these are. I need you to, you that know your gemstones, please help me. And where did that one go? That one's really cool. They're all different, but they're so pretty. That's what amazes me about gemstones. It's just the, you know, they're all different, but so unique and beautiful, each one. Oh, these are cool. These are Z-Agate. Um, look at this. What an awesome find. These are really popular right now, too. These Z-Agate beads. But look how pretty. So cool. They've got all the pattern on them. I was excited to see those. I love them. Um, let's see what else we've got in here. Here's a really cool one. This is Banded Agate. Look at that. So cool. Uh, this one, I'm not sure what this is, but it's beautiful. It's just like a pendant or a focal bead. There were a lot of these focal beads, and I don't know what some of them are. This one, I don't know what it is, or this one, if you know, please. Please tell me. They're really pretty. This is really cool. Like a speckled. I don't know what Chris is doing outside, if you guys can hear him. It sounds like he's got the ladder. <laughs> I don't know. If he's climbing up to peek in the window, or <laughs> what he's doing. But here's another one of these. These are, these go together, the banded agate. There's this, satellite, I'm assuming. This looks like an African turquoise to me. This one, I was not sure about. If anybody knows what that is, please let me know. This one, I was wanting to say unikite, but I'm not sure. And this, I have no idea either. So I'm appealing to all you gemstone experts out there. Please help me. I need to know what these things are. Um, here's some too. I don't know what these are. These are really cool though. They they have like a... See those dots in them? I mean, I have no idea what they are, but they're so cool. There's a whole bunch of them. Three of them. So if you know, please... Please chime in. And there's tons more. I mean, I don't have time to even show you guys all of this, but look at this one. No clue what it is. Jasper, maybe, or I don't know. Really cool. There's this. What's this? Is this halite or a turquoise of some sort? <laughs> there's that one. Oh, these, there were several of these um, in different colors. And again, I have no idea, but I need to know, I really do. So here they are. See, there's those. I'm thinking Howlite, because there were a bunch of these. I'm going to pull these out, too. A bunch of these Howlite skulls. So, you know, I've had these Howlite skulls before. Um, so I'm assuming maybe that's what the other one is the nuggets are. Um, this is Amethyst. I know that. Let me scoot some of this off because my poor camera just cannot, it just can't do it. Now, what is this? This is absolutely beautiful. What is this? Somebody tell me. You guys have to know. Somebody out there does. And here's another one of these. These are similar. I mean, they look, what are they? And then there's satellite. This is satellite, I think. Okay. Um, oh, and look at these. These were so cute. Look at these elephants. Now, I don't know. I think these are carved out of bone. They feel like bone to me. Look at these. Aren't they awesome? So there's these three, and then this one's different. But it feels like it's carved out of bone, too. It doesn't have any holes or anything. It's just a little elephant. It's got an eye and everything, but those other three... Oh, so cool. I mean, that is, they're just awesome. They're so cool. So there's those. Um, I think that this is coral. Pretty sure this is coral. And my oldest son informed me, who is like 
knows everything. He informed me that the coral reefs are in danger, so I better hang on to that. So I will. Um, African turquoise, possibly. And yeah, here's another piece of this. That's what this looks like to me. Or maybe it's an imperial jasper, but I think it's an African turquoise. It looks like it. Okay, so there's those. Then we have some more little, I think these are coral pieces as well. I'll hang on to them since they're endangered. Um, and then this, what is this? What in the world is this? Somebody tell me, what is this? Is it like a sea urchin? <laughs> I mean, I was like, what are these? <laughs> these look like bone right here. These are on towels, but I wasn't sure about these guys. They're heavy. <laughs> so there's those. We've got some, um, I think this is jade, maybe? I don't know. If you know, please tell me. It has a pinkish hue to it. Uh, rose quartz. I know this one. Banded agate. I know that. Oh, these. What are these? Gemstone experts. Please, I need your help. What are these? Are these rhodonite? They didn't totally look like it, but they kind of did because they have a pinkish tint to them. But oh my goodness, and I just dropped one, of course. I have to go after them because then I'll forget they're down here and I'll vacuum them up. You don't want that. So, please help me if you know what these could be. They are so pretty. I mean, they are just absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. And I have no idea. I think they're rhodochrosite or rhodonite. But tell me if I'm wrong. Please. Please leave comments. Um, this is really cool. I don't know if it's an agate. It looks like agate. Um, let's see what else we got in here. The rest, there's some tiger's eye, there's some more opalite, there's some more opalite in like an irregular round bead, really cool. Um, I've got some hematite in here. I think these are a quartz. These are, look at these, these are really cool. These big old hunks. <laughs> I think they're quartz. So there's those, and then I had just some random other pieces that, again, I don't know what a lot of them are. Um, this one, if you guys know this one, I'm stumped on it as well. It looks really similar to this, but it's not. So this one has these veins going through it, and it's smooth. I don't know. Is it marble? Kind of looks like marble. Um, but that one I need help with. There's some hematite in here. Yeah. So if you guys are able to help me with any of those, I would certainly, certainly appreciate it. So let me pick some of these up because there's more. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> there is more. She, I mean, they absolutely bought this huge amount. I guess this lady was selling all of it together. And my aunt said that the lady was like, let me pick out a few things. And my uncle was like, no, we'll just take it all. <laughs> so, um, he just kind of grabbed some bags and started piling stuff in. But oh my goodness, I can't, can't even believe they did this for me. <laughs> now, what is in this bag? Oh, this is some cool stuff too. Some of this is um, really unique, interesting stuff. So check out... This actually isn't the bag that I wanted to dump out. And here's another piece of that triangle stuff that I need to put with that. Okay, so look at these Lamport glass fish. <laughs> these are hilarious. <laughs> look at that. These have to be vintage. <laughs> they just have to be. <laughs> but look at their, I think they're fish. <laughs> you all tell me if they're not. I think they are. I'm actually going to scoot this bag over because this is not the bag that I wanted to dump out. But these are funny, and I wanted you to see them. Lamp or glass fish. Okay. Um, let me get this other bag. Yeah, this is the bag. So this bag is shell. And hang on, everything's falling off the table here. This bag is shell. Oh, my goodness. I can't even believe it. There are some absolutely beautiful pieces of shell in here. So, first of all, there are all of these. These are like flower pendants that someone wire wrapped together. Check it out. I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> this is, I would, I would poke holes in my fingers trying to do this. Now, this one's got a little 
I'm going to have to take that and tuck it because it will snag something. But there were all these. There was this white one, two of them. So they've just taken these shell pieces and pearls and wire wrapped them into these little flowers. But they're so pretty. There was the white one. There was yellow. There was green. There was orange. A couple of orange. There was red and purple, another white or kind of brownish, another green, a turquoise blue, and another white, and a black, oh, and another purple, or fuchsia, look at this, oh, here's some more, a darker brown, those are pretty, so all of these shell pieces, here's another one, look at these, Somebody has wire wrapped into these flowers, and they are gorgeous. And then I got so excited when I saw this because I thought this was the cutest thing. So I was like, look, this is abalone shell, which I love. But look at this bird. This is a little bird carved out of shell. Can you even believe that? It is so cute. Oh, I was dying. I was like, look at this bird. And they were all laughing at me because I was getting so excited. Now, I'm not sure why these are in here. These are not shell. These should have been, I think, in the gemstone. <laughs> maybe, or maybe they're just glass. Y'all tell me. Are they glass or are they gemstones? They are quite cold, like everybody says gemstones are. So, possibly, I'm going to stick them with the gemstones. And then, I thought this was such a pretty color. I have not seen this color in shell. It's a blue, but it's like a periwinkle blue. Oh, it's beautiful. So there's all these little pieces in shell. And you all know I love shell. I always, I just love it. I have a big tub of, I just separate it out and keep all my shell in one tub. I just love it. So there's those. Then these, and these were really cool. I've never seen anything like these either. They're shell pieces, I think. But look at them. They're just like... There's only four of them, and they're, how cool are those? Just little pieces of shell, but so cool. Okay, and then there were these, and these are so cool too. These are like spiky pendant pieces. Oh my goodness, I was just like, this is, and they're different colors. There's like an orange a mauve, a bone color, white, and a yellow. But what a cool little pendant or earring. I guess you could use them for earrings too, but so cool. And then this cut shell piece. So cool. And then a bunch of other beautiful shell here in various shapes and colors. Y'all know I love shell. I am a shell addict. So I was so excited to get all that. And then, if that wasn't enough, <laughs> I told you guys, this is like a massive, oh my goodness. So this is ceramic and wood. And there's some really cool stuff in here too. So let me find some of it to show you. <laughs> My table is not big enough. Okay, let's scoot some of this out of the way. Okay, so there was a lot of just glass, which of course, so just some round glass, faceted glass, which I love. Um, crystal, you know, AB glass. And then there were some really cool, these are polymer clay beads. So there's just some really unique stuff in here too. Um, that's polymer clay. We had some really pretty lamp work stuff. So here, look at this. Uh, these are wood, I think. And again, I had a hard time telling. I don't know. Maybe they're not wood. No, they're not. They're bone or something. I don't know. You guys help me out. They're not wood. They're... And they're not glass. I think they're bone or, or something like that. <laughs> I really need some help. Um, 
look at these. They've got to be vintage. They're just really cool little glass. And they look lamp work. They've got some swirl in there and stuff. So there were those. There were some seed beads. There were some check flowers. Um, some more lamp work. I just put them all together in this baggie because and then some crystals in there too. Look at this one. It's like, I think it's wooden. But, oh my goodness, such cool stuff. Um, some faceted drops. Frosted glass. These were really cool cubes. Um, that almost looks like the recycled glass, that green. Oh, here's some fire polish that I missed putting in the fire polish thing. Um, some more lamp work. Now, these are cute. These have little dolphins on them or sharks. I don't know which. There, let's see if I can get one up here where you can see it. See the little sharks? So cute. Goodness. <laughs> um, and then look at these wooden ones painted like little Easter eggs. Oh my word. Um, some lamp work, beautiful lamp work stuff in here. Some really pretty. This is polymer clay. It's like a pendant piece that somebody's made. Look at this. Is that not so cool? I just am amazed. I was so amazed at all of it. Chris is playing his saxophone. Okay, these um, are vintage glass. She's actually written on here, old vintage beads were $6 each. So there's some vintage glass. There's several of these. I don't see the rest at the moment. They're in this pile. This I thought was really cool too. They're like half matte, half, I don't know what they are. If they're just glass, they, they look like just glass. I don't think it's gemstone or anything. It's just glass, but look how pretty. So cool. They're like a square, half matte, half shiny. So cool. Um, there's some wooden. There were several wooden beads. Here's some more lamp work. And then look at these. I think these are a check glass, but I'm not positive. Look at their, so cool. My goodness, look at the shape of them. They're like flat on the bottom. Those are the coolest things ever. And they're so sparkly and beautiful. So pretty. Oh my goodness. If anybody knows what these are, are they a vintage bead? Are they check? Or does anybody know? <laughs> There's some ceramic and some more um, lamp work. I just kind of put them all in the same bag. We had some bicones, some more faceted glass. These I thought were really beautiful as well. These two. I don't know. They're just like a... a marbled kind of they're just really pretty um so there were those whoops these had me kind of stumped as well i don't know i think they're just acrylic but yeah they have to be but look at them aren't they cool <laughs> i think they're vintage they have to be um a lot of wood so here's some more wooden ones wooden just trying to see if there's anything else really cool that I wanted to show you guys. Because there was so much in here. There's some cathedral beads. Here's some frosted glass that electroplated. Uh, kind of like faux mermaid glass. Uh, these are acrylic. These are wood. Oh, here's some more of those vintage ones that are $6 each. These are some lamp worked blue hearts. There's more of the vintage $6 each ones. That's what she has written on the bag. These I thought were really cool too. Check these out. Look at that. So pretty. They look vintage as well. Here's some green cat eye. I love cat eye. So pretty. Uh, let's see. These were really pretty, I thought. They're a glass bead. They just have that cool little pattern on them. 
don't know if you can see it or not. It's kind of hard to see. <laughs> so there's those. There's another wood bead. I think it had some like I don't know where they went. These were really cool. Let's check these out. These look vintage as well to me. They're such a cool shape and color. So just tons of really cool stuff. Look at these leather rings. These are braided little rings. Aren't they cool? There was so much unique uh, stuff in here. I just, I really enjoyed going through this. So I think I should cut the video off. We're getting down to the, you know, <laughs> point where you guys are probably like, okay, we're done. But look at these. Oh, I could sit here and do this all day. But anyway, I wanted to say a big thank you to my Aunt Donna and Uncle Tim. Give them a big shout out on YouTube. Um, this is like one of the best gifts I've ever received in my entire life. I have to say <laughs> I have enjoyed <laughs> this so much. Um, on the gemstones, if any of you know what some of those are, please, please, please let me know. Um, because I really would like to label things. Um, that would be awesome. This as well, I don't, this is some sort of chip. I don't know if it's just glass chips or if it's, I'm thinking it's just glass, but I could be wrong. So if you know, if you're a gemstone person and you know um, what some of these are, please tell me because I really want to label things and have them, you know, organized and to where I can tell what things are. Here's some check butterflies. These are vintage, I believe. Really cool looking. Look at that. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I love seeing unique and different beads, and I think there were quite a few in here. So, and thank you again to Aunt Donna and Uncle Tim. Oh, here's one more that I had to show you guys. <laughs> Sorry, I keep finding more things. Look at this. This rhinoceros carved out of wood. It's a pendant piece. Is that not awesome? So on that note, um, I will say goodbye for this video, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.